All right, seventh grade, lesson 34. This one is on decimal numbers on the number line, okay? Now, right now what I'm going to do is draw a ruler, but this ruler is not just an ordinary ruler with inches. This is a centimeters, okay? So we're going to pretend I'm going to kind of magnify this ruler, okay? And let's go one, two, three. Okay? Now, they're wanting to know how long is this line from here to here. Okay? Now, what I want you to see is that this is halfway and then there are four ticks in between each one. In between each half mark. Okay? Look up here so you can see. Okay? So now, what I want you to do is we need to try to figure out how long this one is. It's actually, I'm going to put it right there. Okay? It's this long from here to here. So, how long would you say this is in centimeters? Is it at least one centimeter long? Mm -hmm. Is it at least two centimeters long? Mm -hmm. But it's two and a little bit more. So it's two and something, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do we figure out how to write this? Well, we figure out how many ticks there are from two to three. So ready, stay with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is on the third tick. So what would you say the answer is? Almost two and three-fourths. Three, how many? Ticks are there from two to three? Four. Ten. Oh, ten. Okay. Ten of them. Ten jumps. And we so took three two jumps. Three tenths. Okay. That's the correct way to write it as a fraction. How would you write this as a decimal number? It'd be 2.03. Close. 2.3. 2.3, because this is tenths, remember? Two. And then this first one is tenths spot. If it was hundreds, then you would put zero three. Okay, you remember that rule, how we did that? Okay, so the answer is going to be 2.3 centimeters. Got it? Now, they are wanting to know how long this is. Well, we told them it's what? Uh, it's 2.3 centimeters. Right, but we're, they're wanting to know how many millimeters it is. Then, so it's important. So it would be... 20 and 3. Close. You're getting there. 20.3 millimeters. Close. You're getting there. One, it's important for you to know that one oh. centimeter is the same thing as 10 millimeters. So now 23. 23. So. It's good for you to go 2.3. So if this was my decimal, the net decimal is always after what? The number, even if you can't see it, it's at the end. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So what happened from here to here? Where did my decimal move to? Uh -huh. From one point centimeters equals 10 millimeters. Where did this decimal go from here oh, to here? Oh, oh, it moved... One spot, didn't it? Yeah. To, from centimeters to millimeters, it moved one spot. You see that? Because this one is really 1.0 centimeters, same thing as, which this is 10 millimeters. So this would become... 2.3. No. 23. 23 millimeters. You see how we did that? See how that, you know when that was the decimals at the end? Okay, that helped us. So the answer is 2.3 centimeters and 23 millimeters. That's the answer. Got it? Feel like you understand it? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do a few more. All right, this time they're wanting you to find the perimeter of the shape. Okay, now this is pretty simple so far. Tell me what the answer is in centimeters for the perimeter of the whole thing. The perimeter? Uh huh. That's 14 plus 24 mm -hmm. is... 24 plus 14? 36. 38. 38. Good job. Okay. So, the perimeter of this is 38 centimeters. Right? But they're wanting 
to know meters, not millimeters like last time. They're wanting to know meters. Okay, do you know the conversion for that? How many meters are in a centimeter or how many centimeters are in a meter? No. Okay, do you remember me teaching you this? Kill her dog. Don't chase mine. Don't chase mine. Long time ago. Stay with me for just a minute. What is this in the middle? Liter, meter, or grams. So it could be millimeter, centimeter. You get it? Liters is used with water or liquid. Meters is used to measure distance. Gram is to measure heavy, how, thing, how, things, how much things weigh. Okay? So you could get a centimeter, which means you're measuring the distance of something small because it's a centimeter. You staying with me? You could do um, kilogram, or something weighs a kilogram. Something's heavy. Okay, kilogram. So, stay with me. We're working with what? Meters and centimeters. So, one meter is how many centimeters? 100. Do you remember me doing this? Mm -hmm. Okay, one meter, okay, one meter is the same thing as we want to stop here because that's centa equals 100 centimeters. So, I'm going to write down this right here. One meter is the same thing as 100 centimeters. Now, back to the problem we just did. Mm -hmm. Eli, back to the problem we just did. How many centimeters was that rectangle we just did? 23. Close. Remember 38? Oh, yeah, 38. Okay, so it was 38 centimeters. We're wanting to make it into meters. Well, it's not even enough to... Yeah, now stay with me. So where's the decimal right here? After it. At the very end. So from this to this, how many faces did it move? Twice. Twice to the... Left. Left. One, two. And that gave us this answer. So guess what's going to happen? It's at the end right now. We're going to move it 1, 2, and that gives us what answer? 0.38. Do you see what you just did? No. It's not quite a meter yet because it's 0.38. It didn't reach a whole one yet. You see how that worked? Yeah. Okay. So 38 centimeters is 0.38 meters. That was a very th hard thing you just did. Okay. But do you see how we did it? Yeah. It's pretty simple when you break it down like that. Okay? Let's do another one. Okay? Um, here's they say, find the following sum. They want us to take 4.2 centimeters and add 24 millimeters. Does this, does this end up sending flash in your head? Warning, warning, warning. What's wrong with this picture? This one's giving us a measurement in centimeters. And this one's giving it in millimeters. Yikes. You can't mix match. We well, need another yeah. conversion. And then right. So we can do convert them both to centimeters or we can convert them both to millimeters. I see both the centimeters. Okay, so let's do okay. So then let's figure out, kill her dog. Actually, I think it'd be easier to meter, be meter, gram. Don't chase mine. Kill a hectodeca. Deca, centa, milla. Decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. Decigram, centigram, milligram. Deciliter, centiliter, milliliter. See how that works? Okay, and we're doing centimeters and millimeters. Okay. Centa and milla. So one centimeter equals how many millimeters? One centimeter equals ten. Very good. So that's what we needed to know. See how I did that? One centa equals ten milla. One centimeter equals ten millimeters. Okay. Now let's take this four point two. Ready, Eli? Yeah. Four point two 
centimeters and let's convert it to millimeters. So right now, what happened from here to here? The decimals at the end and the decimals at the end. So what happened from here to here? It moved one spot. It was here and it moved once so it to give us 42. Okay, so this would move one over and it would make it 42 millimeters. Okay, so this is really 42 millimeters and this is 24 millimeters. So we're going to add 42 millimeters plus 24 millimeters. But, okay, so this one's 60 millimeters. Okay, oh wait, 66. Yeah. Yes, that's right. Okay, now let's do this. We're done with this one. Now let's do 4.2 centimeters and make this one. That's 6.6 .6 centimeters though, right? Right. Okay, you can do it that way. Okay. Do you want to go in? So this would become what? 2.4? Yeah. Which would become 6.6 .6 cent centimeters because we would change that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good job, darling. You did real good on that. Okay, now last thing. And we're done. Okay, so stay with me here. Ready? I'm going to try to magnify this the best I can. This is a 4 and this is a 5. Now, now it may not be completely easy, but just do, do my best. Okay, ready? So this becomes, if this is 4.0, this would be 5.0, okay, so stay with me. This would become what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it would be four and one tenths, right? Which is really 4.1. And this is really 4.2. Very good. 4.3, 4 4.4, 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, and 4.9. Okay, now stay with me for just a minute. In between each of these, there are 10 more ticks. So in between this and this is 10 ticks. So stay with me. All right. You see that? There's 10 ticks in between each one. Now, uh, they're wanting me to find what is this. That spot, A. They're also wanting me to find this spot B. Okay, now stay with me. If this has 10 ticks, 10 more, 20, 10 more, 30, 10 more, 40, 10 more, 50 ticks. Do you see what's happening? 60 ticks, 70 ticks, 80 ticks, 90 ticks, 100 ticks. So from here to here, the small ones makes up a hundred small ticks. Now I'm not going to draw a hundred ticks through here, okay? I did on this one and on this one so that we can see the dot. Okay? You see what I'm doing? So, where would this, help? what would this spot be? What would A be? A equals 4.0. It's on the fifth one. Four and five out of five. Now we're doing the little ticks. Ten. So how many little ticks are there total? Remember I told you. Yes, yeah, ten each one. There's ten in each one, but from two. here so to there's here, there's a hundred. So this one's on the fifth little tick. So five over a hundred, which is really what as a decimal. Uh, 4.05. Okay, now look up here. 4.0, and it's the fifth one, so it's 4.05. Uh -huh. You see how that makes sense? Okay, now let's do the B. If this is 4.3, 4.0. Wait, this is 4.3 right here. Yeah. Okay, so it's 4.03. Okay, 
4.04? I don't know. Okay, but we're not on 4 point. We're on 4.3. I know. Okay, but so it may that. make more sense to do this. Remember all the little ticks? Yeah. This is 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. It's on the 38th tick out of 100. So would it be fair to say 4 and 38 over 100? Yes. Which would be what as a decimal? 3.38. 4.38. 38 because it's tens hundreds. So watch this. See how this is 4.3? Uh -huh. B is 4.38 because it hasn't yet reached 4.40 or 4.4. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I had a tick right here and I put my tick right here, what would it be? 4.7... It's on the fourth one. Four. Four point seven four. Very good. Or if you were writing it as a fraction, what would it be? Four and seven. Seventy-four over hundred. Very good. You got it. Because if we're talking about the little ticks, yeah. then it's seventy-four little ticks out of a hundred. But if you're talking within the tenths, then it's the four point three and the eighth one. Kind of a hard thing to understand. But that is lesson 34.